Hi, in this video we're going to look at this book. It's called Contemporary Abstract Algebra. It was written by Joseph A. Gallion. This is the fifth edition. This book has been reprinted many, many times, um, and it is a classic book. So this is a book you can use to learn abstract algebra if you don't know a lot of it. The main prereq uh, for learning something like abstract algebra is going to be proof writing. This one starts with groups and finite subgroups, permutation groups, isomorphisms, some more light here, normal subgroups and factor groups. Let's some here. Some more topics here and more here, and then just tons of topics. And you do have answers to some of the exercises. Now, um, there are a lot of exercises, so you don't have answers to all of them. But um, you see, you do get tons of actual exercises. I mean, look at this, 30. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot of exercises, you know. A lot of examples in the book. Uh, this is one of those books that's kind of like stood the test of time. It's been used multiple times. Oh, here's Jacobson. Let's see what it says here about Jacobson. Few mathematicians have been as productive over such a long career or have had as much influence on the profession as has Professor Jacobson. Citation for the Steel Prize for a Lifetime Achievement. Cool. He died in 1999 at the age of 89. Wow. Ideals and factor rings. It's good stuff. Good stuff. It's not hard. You just have to build up to it. Oh, Dedekind and Emmy Norther. The Notharian rings. They're named after her. Look at all these exercises. Tons of exercises. But we were talking about the answers. Let me just show you. So, like, you don't get... You see? So you get some stuff. I mean, that's pretty good. The odds. And that's actually very, very good. I feel like different editions give different... I don't know, I have another... Uh, I feel like I have another edition of the Galleon book, like an older edition, maybe. I don't know, or it just doesn't have as many answers. Yeah, because, you know, when they change the editions, the book does change, so there are differences. But, yeah, Contemporary Abstract Algebra. It's a pretty good book for beginners who are trying to get into uh, abstract algebra.